Okay, here's my kettle. In case anybody wants to see what primitive skills we'll need when all the electrical grids are down and your gas companies aren't pumping gas anymore. This is going to be, it wasn't too many years ago that this was how people in the country heated their water for washing and cooking. But here, this is pretty simple. It's a cast iron wash pot. It's already been cooking for a while. The flame's gone out, but um, you can see that the water is steaming hot. I stack some more wood up. It might reignite itself. A little bit later, but that's enough hot water for your whole day of washing. You can wash your clothes, wash your dishes in there. It's dirty right now because I've been cleaning things in there. But that's, um, I think that's a 20 gallon pot. It's half full, so that's about 10 gallons of piping hot water. You can get it boiling without too much trouble. I'd say it's about 150, between 150, 175 degrees. There's little rings on the end. You can put a hook in there and pick that pot up. When you, you can get old Bubba to help you, you can grab the other end and carry that pot off somewhere it out. And, um, I'm going to try to stick my hand in there just to see how hot it is. But it's, uh, it's probably more hot than what I'm going to stick my fingers in. Alright, so yeah, I'd say it's about close to 150, maybe 140. Well, if you turned on your hot water right out of your tap and let it heat up to the maximum, be about right. It scalded you. You couldn't shower in it, it'd burn you. But all it takes is a few sticks and limbs that fell out of trees during the storm. Get you some hot water. Clean yourself up. You know, some more wood there. There ain't nearly enough wood. I need about five times that much more. But anyway. That's my cast iron wash button.